Hey everybody, it's Mike, Hell's Canyon Armory. Um, wanted to make a little video here real quick. Talk about my carbon fiber barrels. A lot of people have uh, been sending me messages asking what makes my barrels different, what makes them better than uh, what's on the market. Um, I'm not going to say that my barrels are without a doubt better than everybody else's, but they shoot good um, and they got a couple inherent traits that make them pretty unique. Uh, first off, everything starts with a good barrel uh, barrel blank and I get mine from either Rock Creek or Benchmark. Uh, Ron over at Benchmark he's been uh, doing this for a lot of years makes a fantastic barrel been using them for a long time and they've always shot lights out. Uh, they spend a lot of time on the lapping process um, barrels are super straight and they just uh, pull bore groups are awesome uh, they shoot awesome so um, using Benchmark and uh, been using Rock Creek as well they've been uh, big name in the cut rifle business for a ton of years. I've uh, been using them for shoot, two or three years now. Um, they hammer just as well. So, uh, fully confident in either one of those. Um, but, anyways, uh, my barrels. First thing about them you need to know they are composite wrap. They're not a 100% carbon fiber. One thing about carbon fiber, um, it's really stiff, really rigid but it transfers and amplifies vibration really well. That's why they make fishing rods out of graphite and carbon fiber. Um, so you can feel every little bounce on the bottom, every little, you know, you want to be able to feel the slightest nibble when you're fishing. That's why they use carbon fiber um, or car carbon fiber products. Um, that characteristic is not what you want in a barrel. You do not want to amplify vibration. You want to dampen vibration. Uh, so my barrels are using um, a different material around the barrel core. Um, so it, we're focusing more on harmonic dampening and, uh, and improved barrel harmonics more than anything. So we're using that and then uh, and we also have a blended a carbon fiber wrap uh, mixed in and on top and that really helps with the rigidity of the barrel. Um, one thing I want to talk about is resin content in composites. Uh, carbon fiber is a material transfers heat incredibly well. It transfers heat better than aluminum. Formula One race cars uh, will have carbon fiber brake rotors because they transfer heat really well, but that's a really pure form of carbon fiber. <clears throat> um, the resins used in carbon fiber in these composites, on the other hand, they trap heat incredibly well. So you have two different ends of the spectrum working here. Um, I know some companies out there, they're filament winding their barrels, and when you filament wind carbon fiber on a barrel, uh, you have no less than a 60% resin content on that barrel. Uh, you got 40% fiber, 60% resin at the minimum. A lot of them are higher than that. Um, what that does is that transfers heat, really, that extra resin just it in, insulates really, really hard, um, really good. That's also not what we want in a barrel. So, um, one thing about my barrels, I'm down in the 30 to 35 percent resin range um, and they kick off heat, they dissipate heat incredibly well, they cool really fast. Um, oftentimes, you know, I'm still running a steel tenon back here um, and, you know, on a hot, high shot string, you can come out here and you can feel this carbon and it'll be a lot hotter to the touch than the steel tenon will. Um, it tells you it's, it's actually pulling heat farther, you know, pulling heat better than the, uh, the steel is and it actually pulls it away from that chamber area. Um, you also get, you can see it in the barrel mirage, uh, six, seven, eight shots on a magnum caliber. If the conditions are calm, you don't have a little bit of a breeze or anything, you will see a resin or a, uh, not a resin, you'll see a mirage start to develop here on the barrel. Uh, you'll see it in your scope. So, um, but any slight little breeze or anything like that carries that, you know, clears that mirage out, no problem. Um, another thing I want to talk about is fiber orientation. Uh, like I said, uh, a lot of companies out there are helically, uh, they're filament winding their barrels. And so that's basically, you know, they'll chuck up a barrel blank in between uh, center, you know, and as far as I've seen the process, they'll, they'll wind um, fiber helically, spirally around the barrel, and they'll build it up, grind it down, um, contour it. Uh, but you end up with all those hundreds, hundreds of different segregations, and the fiber is going helically around the barrel. Well, um, fiber orientation there is you're losing out on a lot of rigidity um, front to back with the barrel. Uh, you'll see here if I can, each one of my barrels actually have a seam running up here. Um, and so what that does, that tells you um, each layer of fiber on this barrel is a continuous piece front to back. The fiber is oriented parallel with the bore 
makes it really stiff, really rigid, um, as stiff and as rigid as can possibly be for this fiber bonded to this barrel. Um, so fiber orientation is good. Uh, we're also using um, less resin than everybody. I've even seen this uh, wrap before. I've even seen it fluted uh, for no purposes other than to see if it would work. Um, it's really brittle. It will chip. It will gouge, but it'll never delaminate. Um, so if you're worried about getting a, you know, dropping it on rocks or anything like that, it's not going to be an issue. It'll never start to come unwound. Um, once it's baked and cured, it's never coming apart. So, um, like I said, uh, <clears throat> you know, start with a good barrel, benchmark, Rock Creek, um, always shot good for us. Using, uh, just in quick summary, we got the lowest resin content that I know of on the market in that 30, 35% range. Uh, heat dissipation's great. That's not our main focus of these barrels, but it is a byproduct of the design. Uh, fiber orientation's great. And, uh, yeah, they shoot really well. So, as you can see, um, kind of rifles I'm building, they, uh, they work good. They end up weighing about the same as a number three sporter contour for your standard calibers. Uh, I can thread on a 5 8 24 brake. You're best to use a self-timing brake. Um, the barrel core is, uh, at the end, it's a 650 uh, muzzle diameter for the steel. So I got enough steel there to thread a 5 8 24 brake, uh, but you don't really want to torque those down. If you are going to run a suppressor, we'll step that uh, contour up to like a 700 um, just to give it more of a steel shoulder to uh, tighten up against. Uh, if you're going to be screwing something on and off, oftentimes got to step up to 700, and also the 338s uh, will run a 700 contour as well on the on the barrel. So I think that's about it. Hope uh, hope this barrel helps. We got a group buy going on right now. Check out Rockslide.com in the Long Range Forum, um, and catch me on Facebook and Instagram. So thanks, guys.